too. UCL, shame on you. You're a scumbag landlord too. UCL, shame on you. You're a scumbag landlord too. UCL, shame on you. You're a scumbag landlord too. Do you think the cost of going to university is acceptable? No, I think it's horrendous. My first choice was UCL, but before I got the scholarship, it was not going to be possible to come. I'm an international student, um, so it's really expensive. Obviously, for us as a student, you can't get um, like student loan. Now everyone takes a student loan, so it doesn't seem like you're making that big of a decision when you do apply for it. We're not yet at a point where these people are paying back their debts and are quite understanding what it will have meant to them to have gone to university and to take on that debt in the first place. So that means when you're earning more than 42,000, for every additional pound you earn, you will keep 30p of that. I guess so, like, it's easy to forget about it because we're not paying anything at the moment, there's no upfront cost. But when you think about the fact that in a few years' time we're going to have like over £50,000 worth of debt behind us, like it's not, it's not a nice thought, no. I do get a maintenance grant. I don't know what I'd do without that, really. There's a whole host of unnecessary or debatable ways that the government is spending its money and I doubt that student loans or student grants is kind of the biggest thing they could sacrifice right now. The Prime Minister on their salary pay 42% tax and probably don't contribute to a pension scheme because that comes with their job. So um, we've got a situation where recent graduates are paying a higher marginal tax rate than members of the cabinet. I do get the maintenance grant um, and without it I'd be absolutely screwed. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that because my parents can't afford to give me any money. I don't have an allowance or anything like that. So without that I would be in serious trouble. At the moment with things like the maintenance card being cut, it's making it harder and less accessible for people. So I think for me it was even a problem, so I'm kind of worried for other people that they're going to struggle, especially in London, because it's so expensive, hence cut the rent. Cut the rent! How many times do we have to say it? It makes perfect sense. All we're asking for is that accommodation at this university should be affordable so that everybody, regardless of how much their parents earn, can afford to study here. I'm rent striking because um, of the extortionate prices that UCL charge just for the really basic accommodation they provide. Um, where I live in Campbell East, for example, there's absolutely no common areas at all. Um, all the sort of stairwells and um, kitchen spaces are run down. Um, and it's almost like they knew that the spaces they made weren't designed for the amount of people that they are. Like there's only like five chairs in my kitchen which is designed for 13 people. So it's almost like they themselves are admitting that they just don't have the space. And to charge um, what's nearing £180 a week for shared facilities I think is just absolutely ridiculous. The rent's very steep. It's two hundred pounds more than student finance gives me, so I have to I have to solicit further money from my parents. The conditions aren't worth the money that they pay for. Like if they improved, renovated them, built new buildings, stuff like that, then definitely they could they could charge the same price. But what it is, it's not worth it. I think strikes will be effective. Yeah, they were effective last year. There's no reason why they shouldn't be effective this year. Uh, UCL's got a lot to deal with in terms of. It's student satisfaction rating uh, going down. It's, I think, one of the lowest student satisfactions of any of the top ten universities in the country. Um, and I think they're, they're, they are going to have to change to start prioritising students and not running it like running their university like a business. I just personally feel that UCL seems to be more of a profit-making machine. In one of um, UCL's response to the rent strike problem, they said that they compared it to private accommodation in the area which was so disingenuous because obviously private accommodation isn't shared kitchen, shared washing machine, you know 13 people to a kitchen, it's just like that comparison is absolutely unfair on students. That the only way to stop this development and find a sustainable solution to the finances of this university and the personal finances of students and Londoners across the city is to withhold rent. It's now been over a month since the initial strike was announced and two days ago over 500 students were announced to have pledged their support for the strike and say that they would be um, willing to withhold their rent in the third term. 
um, if UCL management doesn't actually take active steps towards dealing with the concerns that have been raised by these students. In the past um, 24 hours or so there's been a lot of uh, media coverage about this extension of the strike, uh, specifically around some of the comments made, made by the UCL Director of Estates, Andrew Granger, after he said that um, some students just simply can't afford to come to London to study and also that UCL doesn't take into account student income when setting their um, rents in halls. Uh, two very sort of inflammatory um, comments that really reflect how UCL management only really care about getting the money for, uh, from students. The only thing they're really aiming for is the £16 million um, profit they make every year from students. Anything you can do to focus on making the university work more for the students and less for the vice chancellors who we now know are getting pay increases well and above in the rates of inflation, then any part of that movement had support. If we had designed a system to crush the aspirations of the poor, we couldn't have done better than the one that we, we have. It's becoming a commodity that you can buy. I think it's a, such an important opportunity to, for everyone to have access to. It's so important today to get a job, to do anything really. Most professions ask for a degree nowadays, so I think it's definitely something that more people should have access to. Higher education should be accessible to everyone who is able to benefit from it. And that was the founding principle of UCL and one of the reasons why I'm here. I don't, I don't deserve to be here any more than anyone who, whose parents can't afford to send them here. If we don't take action um, to take back control of our education, then the real um, cost of coming to university is not going to be just through loans. It's going to be about the future, the future of our society. And that's why we have to take direct action. We have to fight these forces that are reducing access to education.